Hi, I'm Trish. Welcome to Trish Talks. So today I'm going to be making grilled chicken with seasoning that we usually put over rice. So I'm going to start with my pan, uh, probably on a medium heat. As you can probably see, my burner is on the larger side because I like this to kind of heat up quick. So I'm going to add my olive oil spray. And what I like to do is that I like to add all my ingredients. So I'm adding pepper. Now, since I'm only cooking one chicken breast, as you can see over here, I'm only really coating just the bottom of this small pan. And um, I would say for the crushed pepper, I probably, we like spice. So I'm gonna say probably half a teaspoon to a teaspoon, more along the teaspoon side. Um, salt, we like salt also. I am a messy cook, so you will see my cooktop uh, be messy. I'd probably say about a half a teaspoon of salt. I like to use garlic powder instead of using um, actual chunks of garlic. And again, this is probably about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. And the reason why um, I don't like using real pepper um, real garlic is because I don't really like to bite into chunks of garlic. A lot of people don't either. And a lot of people have sensitive stomachs and garlic powder really does not affect your stomach. So I also like to add Italian seasoning. Um, and again, this is probably half a teaspoon. Now I do monitor how much oil I put in. Okay, so I'm kind of going to let this heat up just a little bit. I might just spray just a little bit more. I don't think I put enough on the first time. And I let this heat up. Um, and the reason why that I don't coat the chicken and I actually just put all the seasoning in the pan is because once I put the chicken in, it will actually grab all of the ingredients. And what happens is that when you heat these up, the flavors fuse together. It really flavors the chicken so much better than if you season it when it's here. And you'll see once this heats up in just a few seconds, again, because I kind of have it on high, and how I know is that it's starting to bubble. I'm not sure if you can actually see that, but it's starting to bubble a little bit so that I do know that it's high. Now, what I like to do is that I kind of like to do a few things here with my chicken. I pretty much like to take out this little fatty piece here. We don't like to have any fatty pieces. So I typically just cut that out and cut it off. Now, I'm not gonna make my chicken, I'm not gonna fillet it yet. I'm gonna fillet it once I put it in the pan and once it gets seasoned, and I'll kinda of show you how that goes. So you can hear that sizzle. And I am a fanatic about chicken <laughs> and salmonella, so you will find that on my channel. So I'm kinda of gonna let this just sear a bit, and I'm gonna sear it on both sides. Now, when I flip it, I'm going to grab the seasoning that's on the sides over here and then I'm going to add some more. But you'll see when I flip it over how the seasoning grabs to the, to the chicken. Um, and I find that, you know, instead of using other products like eggs and things like that to kind of, um, or flour, when you're doing kind of a grilled chicken, you don't need to actually have another ingredient for, the, for all the spices and everything to stick. So I'm kind of going to let this cook. Now, in the meantime, what I like to do with this is I like to chop it up in pieces once it's done, and I like to put it over rice. It's a really quick and simple, easy way to do chicken. Um, on my channel, we're going to be doing all different kinds of cooking, uh, mostly Italian, I must say. I am Italian. My family's from Naples, Italy, and myself and Rocky is right over there. You can see him. He's going to be part of the show also. He's my little sidekick and goes everywhere with me. He's a, a dachshund and 
he's just the cutest thing. So I kind of have to eye this and watch it because again, I don't want it to burn. Um, but I'm going to uh, flip it just in a few seconds. So you really kind of leave it on just for a few minutes on each side. And then what I'll do is I'm gonna butterfly it. And then once I butterfly it, I'm gonna do a little bit more seasoning and in the pan, and then kind of let it season itself and fuse together with all the ingredients. Um, it really is a great taste. Now you can use anything you want. You know, if you want spice, you can add, you know, paprika, you could add some hot sauce, you can add, you know, all different kinds of, of, of different items depending on the taste. So we do fluctuate uh, with the taste uh, depending on what everybody is in the mood for. So going back to about me, I've had recipes handed down to me from generations. And through the years, I've realized that I didn't have a lot of time to be able to sit and make delicious food that took hours and hours. So I really feel that I've narrowed it down and I'm able to share it with you where we save time, but we certainly don't eliminate the delicious flavors. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this over. Now, can you see this? Can you see all of the how this all stuck. Now this will remain on here. This, this doesn't come off, which I love. Now I'm just grabbing the rest. I'm gonna lower this just a little bit because I don't want it to burn. So again, you kind of have to play around. Um, the other thing you'll find is that I don't necessarily have an exact uh, amount of product that I put in. I kind of eye it, and it kind of depends on uh, what mood I'm in when I'm cooking. <laughs> Baking, on the other hand, of course, there definitely is a, a recipes that I will follow. I love ma making cookies, so there'll be a lot of cookies on this channel. I also um, will show you how I saute vegetables and mix up peppers and lasagna, and that uh, stuffed mushrooms. And I make these things on a daily basis because I've really found a way to make these in a time-consuming way, but are just delicious. So I hope you'll join me. Okay, now I'm gonna let this cook for one more minute and then I'm gonna butterfly. And again, what I love about chicken is that there's just so many different things. The only thing I recommend not to do is not to add barbecue sauce or kind of a liquid to when you're kind of grilling chicken. Um, and of course, I've got different pans, you know, to grill on and have the grill marks and everything. But for today's purpose, I'm just using this particular nonstick pan. And what, because what, what happens is that the outside will burn. Um, it's really better if you're gonna do that to kind of put your barbecue sauce and, and saute it overnight. And this way, the liquid kind of gets absorbed by the chicken. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna butterfly this. Okay, and the reason why I'm gonna butterfly this, and of course, you can hear how this is like sizzling. And look how it's juicy. You feel the juice coming out? Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my ingredients. This pan is small, so it wasn't the greatest for me to show you all this in, because I really like to put the product on the side and grab it. But I'm going to put the pepper. I'm going to put the same ingredients in there, to be honest with you, because the other side has the same ingredients. So I'm adding salt and pepper, garlic powder, and my Italian seasoning. And so now I'm gonna flip this. So again, you can see that all the product is 
is here. And I'm going to let this cook for a few minutes. Can you see the mess? <laughs> I am a messy cook. <laughs> it just is what it is. On my next few shows, I'm also going to show you how to make tomato sauce quick and easy, pizza sauce super fast and super easy, pink sauce. Um, I love to make um, what's called penne alla vodka sauce, but I don't really like to add the alcohol in there. I know it dissipates, but it's something that I really don't like. So I make the sauce without the vodka in it. Of course, you can add the vodka, but I don't find that I need to taste in it. Um, I have a method that I use uh, to infuse and put together all the products and it just tastes delicious. Um, also on this channel, um, most likely I'll be making some smoothies and different things. Um, I really have a broad spectrum. Um, I would say that I definitely, my cooking style is more on the Italian side, we kind of stuff everything. And that's really what I'm used to, used to eating. But of course, I am open to suggestions and I think cooking is a great way to relax to be honest with you because if you can find methods and and recipes that you know you don't have to necessarily follow to a tea it, it can make cooking relaxing and enjoying okay so now what i'm gonna do is you can see now look at this do you see how it how all of the product is on the chicken so now I'm going to cut these into pieces, and the reason why I'm going to cut these into pieces is because I am going to cut this into my rice that I've already made. And I will show you also how to make white rice. I know there's a recipe on the back, but I've found a way to, um, to make delicious homemade white rice simple easy done in 20 minutes so the reason why also i want to cut it is because i want to get that seasoning on the side on all the sides of my pieces of chicken so i'm kind of going to cut these up in small pieces We also like to make everything well done here. So, you know, please feel free to cook your chicken less. Also, I will show you in another video. Well, there's Rocky. He smells the chicken, I guess. So now, as you, can you see that how all the seasoning has not got stuck, has not stuck to the pan and is on the chicken? So that's why I do everything in the pan. So again, now I'm trying to get the juice. And all of the seasonings to coat all of the sides of the chicken. So I'm not sure if you can see, but the seasoning is pretty much on all the sides of the chicken. It just makes it delicious. I'm going to let this cook for about another minute. And I have my white rice here that I have to heat up. I made it last night. I have to make more because that's the rest of it. And then I just throw this. I'm just gonna make sure that it, you know the chicken is all cooked. But I just love the way that the seasonings stay on the chicken. And you kind of have you know how like if you made chicken and you kind of just season the outside and then when you cut into it, it just tastes like plain, it tastes like nothing. Um this this doesn't happen um, doing it this way. So when my chicken is finished and 
I'm going to heat up my rice, put it over my rice, and it'll be completely finished. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.